Welcome to the Fit Life with MJ podcast, a collection of healthy chats to motivate, inspire, and teach you to live your healthiest, happiest, and most confident life ever. Hello, fam, and welcome back to the Fit Life with MJ podcast. I am super excited to be back in your ears. Today's episode is going to be a good one. If you are excited to have an amazing 2023, the best year you've ever had, this episode is for you. I am keen as a bean to have the best year ever, and I'm starting to set myself up for that now. I'm not going to wait until, you know, the last day of December to write my resolutions list. I'm not even going to write a resolutions list. I am not going to wait till January to go, right, how's 2023 going to go for me? I'm doing it now. I'm taking action. She's getting precise and she's been doing some inner work and has noticed there's a few shortcomings in my health routine that are going to hold me back. And if I don't ditch those habits, I'm not going to be able to have the best 2023. So I wanted to bring this episode to you to give you a bit of insight into what that's going to look like for me, what things I want to stop doing to myself, what things I want to start doing better so that I can be my best in 2023 and help inspire you to do the same. So if you're someone who is excited to level up your life, be a better version of you in 2023, we're always looking to be better versions of ourselves, aren't we? Then yeah, this this one will really help you. So grab a pen and paper, take some notes, guys, because I'm actually going to break it down. I've got five specific things I'm going to go through that we're going to talk about and I'll I'll dive deep on them and maybe you might resonate with these and think, oh yeah, that's definitely something I do that I need to stop doing or that's something I need to do more of. Or it might spark you to think or realize about something else that you're doing that's similar in your own life and your own habits that needs to maybe not be done so much or maybe something that you need to improve on. So either way, I hope it really helps you. The reason that this episode's come about is because I've been doing a lot of self-development work lately. You've probably been seeing me talk about it a bit on my socials. I've been sharing a lot of my journey with the Fit Fam girls because what I'm learning about myself on this journey is just helping me to coach them so much more with their mindsets, their motivation, their self-belief, helping them get much better results with their health progress. It's, yeah. Obviously, every time I learn something that helps me, I share it because it's just I just want to help everybody be the best they can be, obviously. So, so yeah, she's been on a self-development journey and I want to bring you guys along for the ride. Obviously, as a coach, you know, the, the focus is always on nutrition and exercise mainly. And of course, you know, mindset, motivation. And at face value, those things are very easy for me. You know, I, I know how to eat healthy now and it's a habit for me and I love doing it because of how great it makes me feel. Exercise is a no-brainer. It's my therapy. I love it. I love feeling strong. I love being in control of my body. Those things come easy to me now because I've built those habits and those appreciations for the results over time. And so therefore, motivation isn't a problem for me anymore. And you guys hear me talk about motivation all the time. I, I know exactly how to stay motivated. I just, yeah, it's not, it's not an issue. But then when I go deeper into myself and what's really going on inside my mind and some, some things that I've accidentally been doing in my day-to-day life that have actually been holding me back from truly being as happy as I possibly can – I started to realize, hang on a sec, you know, I've got these these core things of health nailed, but that doesn't mean I'm necessarily holistically healthy. There's some things I'm missing. There's some things I've been forgetting to do for myself, some things I've been leaving out, and I don't want to leave those things out anymore. So that's what I've, I've come to realize, and that's what I'm going to break down for you guys today. So let's just dive straight into them, and I'll break them down each one as we go. Just a side note on this as well, where this sort of came from was an idea I had for December this year was to call it my December. So like D hyphen December. And what I mean by that is unhealthy habits that I want to ditch before the end of December so that come January 2023, I am already on the way to being my best self. Not, I don't have to worry about, you know, 
stopping anything else. I'm already going to be in the momentum of not doing the unhealthy things and doing more of the healthy things. So that's basically where this came from. I did a post about it a few weeks ago. By the time this episode comes out, it'll be a little bit further down on my Instagram feed and most of my social feeds. But basically it was titled my December and there was about five five things I think on there that were habits I want to ditch and that's where this podcast episode came from because obviously in a 15 second video you can't really articulate what you really mean by what you say and you guys know I love to articulate myself with spoken word so that's what this episode is that's why this episode is going to be about this for you so the first thing that I have noticed that I have been doing that I don't want to do anymore is constantly having a racing mind. I've always glorified, and I think we always do. um, If you're a very naturally busy person, you love to be productive, you love to be a doer, then you are going to be someone who loves to have a racing mind because it makes you feel secure. It makes you feel like you're always being productive. If you're not physically doing something, at least you're thinking about what you're going to do. You're always planning something. You're always busy, busy, busy in the mind. Now, quite often we will rest our bodies and say something like, oh, you know what? I just need to sit and do nothing right now. I'm just going to go sit down at the, for me, it's the beach. I'm just going to go and, you know, stuff it tonight. I'm just going to watch Netflix or, you know, we, we physically rest our bodies, especially, you know, if you're having like a rough time on your period, it's like, I'm not going to train as hard or for me, I'd be if I'm not going to train as hard, but some girls will be like, I'm not going to go to the gym today. My body's just not feeling it. I'm just going to rest. But what we forget to do also, or what I specifically forget to do is rest my mind as well. I'll sit down and I'll physically be still, but my mind will be racing at a hundred miles an hour constantly. And I've really noticed lately because I'm coming into a season of getting really excited about all this new stuff I want to do in Forever Fit and with MJ Fit Life, I've just found I've got like a million ideas racing through my head all at once and it's actually making me feel breathless. Like I'm constantly in this fight or flight mode where I'm I won't let myself stop thinking and I'll sit down to rest. I'll go to the beach, I'll sit down and I'll actually physically be resting. I'll be sitting or I'll be watching Netflix after I've had my dinner at night. And I'm like, I'm physically resting, but my brain is just go, 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 go. I'm not stopping the thoughts. I'm not actually being present and letting my my brain calm down. And it's really affecting my ability to be creative. It's affecting my sleep. It's affecting my day to day because I'm feeling so rushed mentally that I'm not making clear thought out decisions, which is therefore affecting its will long term will affect my business. Um, I'm forgetting to reply to friends. It's affecting my relationships. Like it's, I just don't want to have a racing mind anymore. So I'm going to be putting more effort into doing things that still my mind, like actually maybe, you know, more journaling, more actually sitting down and, and being grateful of where I am and the you know, being grateful for nature, being grateful for my ability to get outside and enjoy nature, get some sun over summer, things like that. Just really things that are going to help me learn to still my mind and allow myself to remember that a still mind is still a productive mind. I think we fall into this trap of thinking if we stop thinking about things, then we are stop being productive. And if we're not thinking about things, we're not being productive, then we're going to fail. That's definitely my fear that I notice has been coming through. So I'm just going to put a lot more effort into reminding myself that no, actually I I can, you know, I do need to still my mind so that it can replenish and then I can have more creative thoughts. I can make better decisions. I can be more fulfilled by my relationships because I'm actually being present with them. And yeah, I just, I'm excited to do that into 2023. So I'm going to start practicing that in December. So that was the first thing, trying not to have such a racing mind all the time. The second thing feeds off that a little bit as well. And that is to stop being so antisocial. I wouldn't, antisocial is not the word, but like non-social. I find I just, I spend so much time being so busy Monday to Friday that come the weekend, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Saturday and I haven't made plans for the weekend. I haven't reached out to any of my friends to see what they're doing. And I'm just getting to the point where I look back on 2022 and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I wasted a lot of weekends where I could have really been, you know, filling my cup with friendships and and getting out and doing more things and experiencing this amazing city that I live in. But I've been boxing myself in because on weekends I'm so burnt out and flustered that I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just need to rest and have some time. 
but it's just becoming this cycle that I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to be on that hamster wheel of grind Monday to Friday and then just spend all weekend on, you know, in my own world, just trying to replenish. So I'm hoping that this calming my racing mind will help me feel less burnt out so that on the weekends my I can actually have the the space to be more present and and to go out and actually have fun make memories with friends and stuff like that so I really want 2023 to be a social year for me I want to get out more I want to do more I want to experience more live this bloody life that I'm setting up for myself (laughs) basically so that's the second one the third one is not pampering myself much I know you guys probably see my nails and I've always got like my makeup done to a certain degree um and stuff like that but like if you ask me how many times I went and saw my chiropractor and kinesiologist in 2022, like oh, three times, I, oh my goodness, it's bad. I'm supposed to see him like every two months maximum. And like, I'm not supposed to leave it any longer than two months basically. And I just don't make the appointment because I just keep thinking, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then I never do it. And before I know it, the whole year's gone and I've nowhere near taken as much care of my body in that way. Like, yeah, I exercise, I keep it fit, I keep it healthy, but it needs massages. It needs other therapies and treatments. You know, why don't I go for a nice facial every now and then and just have a day where I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to get into my femme energy and just pamper myself to the shit, make myself feel amazing. And I just don't do it. And I want to do it more. I want to like, I want to... I guess this is stepping into the third one, but I want to romanticize my life more. You know, I want to, I want to feel that way. I want to go out. I want to get beautiful stuff done to me. Like, you know, massages and different treatments, like different types of massage, um, facials, like pedicures more often. I neglect that all the time. My nails are basically the only thing I upkeep. Um, yeah, just different stuff like that to just enjoy lots of different forms of wellness. So yeah, not, not pampering myself more is something I want to stop doing. I want to enjoy more of those fun femme things into 2023, which also leads into, like I said, the the fourth one is I want to romanticize my life more. I'm a very, very simplistic, minimalistic person. Ask anyone who knows me well, I don't keep a lot of stuff. I'm such a like instead of going out and getting nice plates and bowls and nice cups and glasses, nice, you know, new nice clothes all the time. I'm such a person of, oh, this will do. I'll just use it like this. And I try to make, I try to stretch things and I'll have like one thing and I'll try to make it work for like five different uses. And every time, every time I look back and I'm like, why didn't I, why didn't I just go and buy the nice new plateware why didn't I just go and buy that nice new set of jeans I wanted why you know why why am I forcing myself to feel unhappy and unfulfilled because I'm you know I'm limiting myself to the things I have at my disposal to do things I want to I just want I don't know I just want more vibrancy and fun in my life and I can't do that if I don't bring new things into my life so I want to romanticize my life and and really get more joy out of the the little things, you know, like I'm, I'm not going to hold myself back anymore by thinking, oh, this will do, you know, I want to, I want to go above and beyond and start living my bloody best life in all of the little things, you know, like maybe that's something where instead of just going to the cinema, we go gold class instead of, you know, just, oh, I really can't think, I don't know, going to really nicer restaurants, nicer bars, have the fancy cocktail, you know, stuff like that instead of, oh, it's all right. I don't need that. If I feel like I want it because it's going to make me happy, then I'm going to bloody go for it from now on. Like I just, I'm in such this mind frame of, oh, it's okay. I don't need that. And and so I won't go above and beyond and do that extra special, special thing for myself. And then I guess that's why I haven't been going and getting these massages and these pedicures and stuff. I'm just like, oh, I'll be right. I don't need that. I can still function at my best. But then I look back and I think, you know what? Imagine how much more happier and fun, happier I'd be and how fun life would be if I was enjoying those things and doing those things for myself. So that's going to be my 2023. I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to not romanticize my life. So I'm going to start romanticizing my life more basically. And the fifth one, 
and I'm I've been wanting to do this for so long and I just keep not taking it seriously and that is not not getting serious about meditation. I I've been toying with the idea for so long. I always offer it as advice for the fit fam when they're really stressed out, struggling mentally with things, if they're struggling with like poor sleep, anything like that. I'm always saying to them, look, meditation is amazing for these things. Yet I'm just not as consistent with my meditation as I want to be. And all of this self-development work that I'm doing lately, like I've been listening to a lot of podcasts from, I'm a podcast person. I don't sit down and read things. I I just don't sit down and read. My brain trails off. I don't enjoy the practice of it. So I love to listen. And I've always been that way. I always learn better by hearing someone talk about something rather than reading words on a page. So podcasts have been my thing. And I have yet to come past a really, really successful person or a set or a self-development person. So there's two, the, the difference is, you know, like all successful people that I have an interest in following who I aspire to be like, and self-development people who I resonate with and who I want to follow and listen to, they all swear by meditation. So why am I not taking this seriously? Clearly it bloody works. I just need to stop this, I, I just need to ditch this mindset of I'll do it later, I'll do it later, you know, I'll, I'll get into it, I'll get into it soon. And also, like, I'm not a person who likes to say, you know, oh, new year, new me, like, we don't need to have set calendar dates where we just step into this new version of ourselves. But, like, it's December now, and I'm just getting to the point where I've looked at this year, and I've gone, you know what, I really didn't live it to the fullest of what I really thought I was going to at the start of 2022. And I'm sick of looking back at my years and going, I really wish I hadn't have held myself back. And so now before 2023 gets here, I'm sitting here, I'm going, this is it. I'm going to stop doing, I'm going to stop holding myself back. So meditation is something I've really wanted to get into because, well, it's going to help me still my mind. I I know that. I know that for a fact it's going to help me give more control over the pace at which my mind goes. But also it just opens you up to so much more possibility and abundance and belief in yourself that, you know, you can achieve whatever you want. It's going to give you that clarity of mind to actually take clearer and faster steps towards your goals, whatever they are. There's a reason that so many successful people talk about meditation. There is a reason there is an entire industry around this and because it, it's because it works. And I I am so keen to find out for myself how powerful it can be for me. And that's never going to happen if I keep sitting around going, oh, I'll do it later. I'll get into it later. And I feel like that whole I'll do it later thing is something that we all do to ourselves, right? Like I'm saying it all the time to people when it comes to starting a health journey, you know, like girls will say they they have this belief that they'll 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 be confident when they lose weight or they'll they feel like they have to lose the weight to step into a certain version of themselves or they feel like they have to wait for a certain time in their life so that they can start their health journey I know for my myself like a lot of the reasons I haven't started doing all of all of these things the reason I haven't started romanticizing my life the reason I haven't started pampering myself more the reason I haven't been more social is because I've been saying to myself, I will be more social when I'm less busy. I will pamper myself when I'm less busy. Uh, I'll I'll book that massage in when I'm not so busy and burnt out. Uh, I'll I'll go and um, buy all these nice things that are going to make my house feel better, that are going to make me feel better in my everyday life. I'll go and do that when I'm not so busy. You know, I'll just wait. I'll just wait till I reach this next level of myself. Then I'll show up as her. And like, you, you can't, I've said this before, you cannot wait to become the next version of yourself unless you start showing up as her now. Like, because how can that, how can you step into something you're not stepping into? So that's, that's why this has really come about for me now. I'm just like, I've really started realizing, hang on a sec, I have to show up as this next version of me if I want to become her. So that's why you've sort of seen me going out and buying these new things, doing not like really even maybe hopefully with my social media, you'll see like the content level up more because I really want to start, you know, making that feel a lot fresher and happier and more vibrant. And so, yeah, um, I I really feel like we, we do this a lot to ourselves. We'll say, oh, I'll start a health journey when I'm not as busy. I will do this for my life when I'm less busy. But the thing is, we're never less busy. 
whenever you've got a moment of time, you will fill it with something. So being mindful about the things you actually want to fill it with will help you get the things done that are going to let let you level up into being that next level version of yourself, which is why I'm doing this for myself now. So basically, I am going to actually allocate part of my busyness is going to be, I'm going to get a manicure, a pedicure, I get manicures all the time, but I'm going to get a pedicure. I'm going to get a massage. I am going to the store to, or I'm going to sit on Pinterest and, you know, get inspo for some decor for my apartment, some new outfits I want over summer. I'm going to purposely intentionally spend that time. It's not a waste. It's for me to help myself level up. So instead of just being busy with all these things that are getting me nowhere, I'm going to be busy with things that I actually know will level me up. So yeah, it's instead of saying I will pamper myself when I'm less busy, it's like, okay, well, you're never going to not be busy. So just schedule the pampering into the busyness. It's going to fit because there's always stuff in our schedules that doesn't need to be there. We always fill our spare time with stuff. That's why we always think we're busy. But if our time's not organized for the better for us, then we could be busy but getting nowhere. So yeah, that's kind of why I really wanted to share this episode with you ladies as well is just so hopefully if you're listening to this and you're thinking, wow, actually, yeah, I have been just completely neglecting myself thinking I'll take better care of myself when I'm less busy. What sort of a life is that to live though? Because you're always going to be busy. <laughs> so that time where you actually do start taking care of yourself, it's never going to come unless you make it happen. So I am, this is me, you know, in December, I'm focusing on ditching these old habits and I'm going to start putting more emphasis on these little things to romanticize my life, pamper myself more, calm my mind, let me be more present, help me seek more abundance and be more, you know, and to level up more in life mentally by meditating and things like that. So yeah, hopefully if you have been listening to this, you're thinking, oh heck yes, that is me. I am neglecting myself in more ways than one and I want to stop doing that and I want to start putting myself first more in 2023. Then, yeah, um, let's let's do this together. Let's make this our December. It'll be about two weeks into December by the time you hear this, but it's still plenty of time to get ready for 2023. Make your list. Go grab a pen and paper right now and write down at least three maximum five, you don't want to overwhelm yourself, but you know, at least three things that you need to do better for yourself or habits that you need to stop doing, whatever works best for you. For me, it was December meant ditching habits. So I was like, well, it's going to be things I'm going to do less of. That's why I, I structured them this way. But you could just say things that you want to start doing more of for yourself that you know are going to make you happier. Do not tell yourself that you are too busy. You will find a window of time where you can put these things into your schedule so that they are part of the busyness, but they are moving you forward at the same time. And then before you know it, you'll look back and 2023 will be the best year you've had in your entire life. That's what I'm excited for, for me. And I, I am not going to look back on 2023 and say, oh, I wish I did more of that. I wish I did this. I wish I did that because that's no life to live. So yeah. Thank you so much for listening, fam. I really hope you did enjoy this episode. And of course, you know, as always, I would love it if you would share it with someone who you know and love who you think would benefit from hearing this as well. Just tell them to look up the Fit Life with MJ podcast on any platform. Uh, You've got like iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts. They all Apple Podcasts instead of iTunes, but it might come up if you search iTunes. I don't know. But Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, we are on there. You can also jump onto YouTube and actually watch the episodes um, because I film them as I record them as well. Um, The videos show up on Spotify now too, which is fun. So yeah, if if you do know someone who you think would benefit from hearing this episode, please tell them to look us up and have a listen. It helps me to reach more people and help them as well. And then you get to know that you're helping your loved ones too. Um, And also if you're watching on your phone, or if you're listening on your phone, take a screenshot and share it to your social media stories and and tag us so that I can see that you're listening, so that I know that I'm getting into your ears and that I'm helping you and also so other people can find out about us as well. Because as I always say, it is just me and Danny working on this baby little podcast and we want to grow this thing to be so impactful right around the world. And I can only do that if you guys help us by getting us up there at the top of the lists when people search for health-related podcasts. So 
that's by sharing us, that's by jumping in and leaving us a review and giving us positive reviews and and, um, and following along on those platforms as well so that you always stay up with the latest episodes too. So I would absolutely love it if you would share it, jump on, give us a review, give us a follow, help us grow so that we can help more people just like you. And as always, guys, you know I'm always here to help you with any problems you're having with your own health. Any questions you've got whatsoever as well, I will drop my social medias in the show notes so that you can jump in and send me a DM with any questions you've got. And also, I will drop the link to Forever Fit if you would like to find out more about Forever Fit. If you've been listening to this episode and you're thinking, yeah, yeah, I've been saying I'll get healthy when I'm less busy and I'm never less busy. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to schedule my health into my busy schedule. That is my love language. I honestly, it's one of the biggest things that I help the Fit Fam girls with is learning how to be in their best shape, regardless of how chaotic their life is. And that's why the girls are just absolutely loving it so much because we are never not busy. So I'll drop the link to the Forever Fit page so you can jump in and learn more about that and get yourself set up because honestly, December, there is no better time really. There's no point in waiting till January to make a start. You're better off to make a start in December so that over the Christmas period, you're practicing implementing healthy habits while life is busy because it's never more busy than it is at Christmas time. What that's going to do is it's going to help you actually implement healthy habits. If you can learn to do it and start doing it when things are busy and super hard, imagine how much easier it's going to be when everything calms down in 2023. You're going to be absolutely blitzing it. And if you think realistically about it, life doesn't actually calm down in Australia until about March because we've got we've got Christmas, New Year's, and then we've got Australia Day, and then we've got, oh, there's so many holidays. And then it's Easter a few months after that. So realistically, there's always going to be something. So you're better off to start when you're busy because if you learn how to be healthy when you're busy, when you're not busy, it gets really easy. And then you're just always taking steps back instead of letting the busy times hold you back because they're always going to be holding you back if that's the case. That was a little bit of a side side rant there for me, but I am going to leave the episode here for you. Once again, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this episode. All of the links will be in the show notes for you to reach out to me or to learn more about Forever Fit. But please make sure the last thing you hear from me is to go and listen, go and make that list of the things, the three to five things that you want to do more for yourself in 2023. Start doing them now so that come 2023, you're already well on your way to living your best life. And you'll see me a lot more over my socials, sharing my journey towards doing that with you. So I can continue inspiring you to live your best life. All right, lovelies. Thank you so much for listening. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye for now.